subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with Knowledge Hut. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Hut. In today's modern world, technology changes at a rapid rate. What is new today can become obsolete in a very short span. You need to refresh your knowledge frequently in order to remain up to date. Now that the end of the year is approaching us, it is the best time to get an awareness of the current scenario and what is about to come during the brand new year which is standing in front of us. Therefore, in this video, we are here to tell you about the 10 most trending technologies and methodologies to learn in 2019. We will also tell you about the various courses and certifications which can help you in learning these technologies and making your career in them. So let us begin. At number 10, we have Digital Marketing. Digital marketing encompasses all marketing efforts that use an electronic device or the internet. Businesses leverage digital channels such as search engines, social media, email, and their websites to connect with current and prospective customers. Since internet users are rapidly increasing these days, digital marketing is becoming an important aspect of even small and medium-sized businesses. Digital marketing can be further divided into specializations such as search engine optimization, social media marketing, search engine marketing, email marketing, contact marketing, etc. Search engine optimization revolves around the activities which help in ranking our content on the top of the search engine results page so that organic traffic can be brought onto the website. Search engine marketing is the practice of marketing a business using paid advertisements that appear on search engine results pages. Social media marketing refers to the process of gaining traffic or attention through social media sites. Email marketing is the process of delivering promotional email messages to a large group of people in an attempt to grow your business. Content marketing is focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience, and ultimately to drive profitable customer action. Some of the tools used in search engine optimization are Google Search Console, Arefs, Majestic, SEMrush, etc. For certification, you can do SEO training from Moz, which is free of cost. In search engine marketing, you use tools like Google Keywords Planner, AdWords Editor, Keyword Spy, PPC Web Spy, SEMrush, SpyFu, etc. For certifications, you can do Google AdWords certification, which again is free of cost. In social media marketing, you will be using tools like Buffer, Hootsuite, Bazumo, Bitly, Visage, etc. Every social media site provides certification on its learning platform, and most of them are free, like Facebook has Facebook Blueprint, Twitter has Twitter Flight School, Google has Academy for Ads. You will find many free certifications on these platforms. In email marketing, you will use tools like MailChimp, HubSpot, SendX, etc. MailChimp offers free email marketing certification, then there is another great email marketing certification by LinkedIn, which is called Managing Email Marketing Lists and Campaigns. On number 9, we have Blockchain. Blockchain is the future of technology. A blockchain is the structure of data that represents a financial ledger entry, or a record of transaction. Each transaction is digitally signed to ensure its authenticity and that no one tampers with it, so the ledger itself and the existing transactions within it are assumed to be of high integrity. Bitcoin, the first cryptocurrency, was built on the blockchain. Later, many other cryptocurrencies like Ether, Ripple, Litecoin emerged from it. These days, a blockchain is also being used to raise capital through initial coin offerings. In the finance sector, blockchain technology is being used to store tax records and electronic invoices. In the healthcare sector, medical records are being maintained with the help of blockchain. Cloud service providers like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are also providing support for blockchain-based projects. We can say that blockchain is applicable in a lot of places. Blockchain Testnet, Blockchain as a Service by Microsoft, MIST, Coinbase API, Tyrion, Embark, Etherscriptor are some tools which are used in the blockchain field. 
blockchain certification includes the courses like Certified Blockchain Expert by Blockchain Council, IBM Blockchain Foundation for Developers. At number 8, we have Agile Methodology. It is not a technology, but it is a way of developing software in such a way that the whole process is faster and error-free. It is a practice that promotes continuous iteration of development and testing through the software development lifecycle of the project. Both development and testing activities are concurrent, so Agile methodology can be used in any kind of development process, be it blockchain, web development, IoT, cloud computing, AI, or any other field where complex projects are being managed. Then there are many frameworks which give us specific guidelines on how to implement Agile in the project management. Scrum is the most popular Agile framework. It is a collection of values, team roles, and rituals used in combination to create iterative work products. Kanban is another Agile framework. It is a visual system for managing work as it moves through a process. Kanban visualizes both the process, the workflow, and the actual work passing through that process. The goal of Kanban is to identify potential bottlenecks in your process and fix them so work can flow through it cost-effectively at an optimal speed or throughput. Similarly, extreme programming is based on five values, namely communication, simplicity, feedback, courage, and respect. Scaled Agile Framework, or SAFE, is another framework which helps you to apply lean Agile practices at the enterprise level. It provides guidance to work at enterprise portfolio, value stream, program, and team levels. Now coming to the tools used, please remember that the tools used in Agile frameworks are not very technical. They are there only to make processes smoother. Sometimes you can even manage to work without them. In Scrum, you would be using tools like GitHub, Jira, Agilo for Scrum, etc. The top certifications in Scrum are Certified Scrum Master, Certified Scrum Product Owner, Certified Scrum Developer, Certified Agile Leadership, all issued by the Scrum Alliance. PMI ACP by Project Management Institute, Professional Scrum Master by Scrum.org, etc. Trello and LeanKit are popular tools of Kanban. The top certifications in Kanban are Kanban Development, Lean Kanban Training, Team Kanban Practitioner, Kanban Management Professional, etc. In SAFE, Kendis and Jira are popular tools. The top SAFE certifications are Leading SAFE 4.6, SAFE 4.6 for Teams, SAFE 4.6 with SBC Certification, SAFE Advanced Scrum Master, all issued by Scaled Agile Incorporated. In Extreme Programming, you use tools like Extreme Planner, Project Planning and Tracking System, Target Process, Plone Extreme Management Tool. You can visit Knowledge Hut for all the Agile-related certifications. At number 7, we have Web Development. Web Development is the work involved in developing a website for the Internet or an intranet. Web development can range from developing a simple, single, static page of plain text to complete web-based internet applications or web apps, electronic businesses, or social network services. Now, web development can be done by using different programming languages. Some of the popular programming languages for web development are JavaScript, Angular, Python, PHP, Ruby, etc. In JavaScript, you use tools like Sublime Text, Gulp, NPM, Webpack, etc. Microsoft MCSD, Microsoft MTA, AWS Certified Developer, Cloudera CCDH are some of the popular certifications you can opt for. Angulera needs tools like WebStorm, Aptana, Karma, Jasmine. Angulera does not have official certifications, but you can take training from various training providers to learn the language. In Python, tools like Selenium, Robot Framework, Test Complete are popular. Again, in Python, you can get trained by training providers and gain course completion certificate from them. PHP uses tools like Eclipse, NetBeans, NewSphere, Komodo. Zend PHP is the official PHP certification. Next in our countdown at number 6, we have Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. 
These attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing, or destroying sensitive information, extorting money from users, or interrupting normal business processes. Implementing effective cybersecurity measures is particularly challenging today because there are more devices than people, and attackers are becoming more innovative. Some of the popular tools in cybersecurity are New PG, TrueCrypt, Open Web Application, Security Project, ClamAV, OSSEC, Snort IDS, IPS Tool, OpenVAS, Backtrack, OSSIM, IPCOP, etc. The certifications in cybersecurity can be divided into three levels, entry level, intermediate, and advanced level. At the entry level, you have certifications like MTA, CCNA, COMTIA Security Plus, GSEC, etc. At the intermediate level, we have SSCP, CEH, OSCP, ESCP. At advanced level, there are certifications like CISA, CIS, CISP, etc. Coming to the number 5, we have IoT or Internet of Things. It is an ecosystem of connected physical objects that are accessible through the Internet. The thing in IoT could be a person with a heart monitor or an automobile with built-in sensors, i.e. objects that have been assigned an IP address and have the ability to collect and transfer data over a network without manual assistance or intervention. The embedded technology in the objects helps them to interact with internal states or the external environment, which in turn affects the decisions taken. In IoT programming and development, you use tools like Tessel T, Eclipse IoT, Arduino, Platform IO, Canopy, Losand, DroneSmith, IFTTT, IBM Watson, etc. IoT is interrelated with multiple disciplines. It requires programming languages, cybersecurity, cloud computing, networking, and protocols, etc. Therefore, you need certifications like IoT certification training on Azure, IoT sensors and devices, IoT capstone project, cybersecurity and privacy in the IoT, etc. At number four, we have DevOps. DevOps is the combination of cultural philosophies, practices, and tools that increase an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity. DevOps is not a technology, but a practice which brings together the software developer and the operations team to work smoothly, reaching fast to the customer's requirement. There are many benefits we receive from the DevOps model, such as speed, rapid delivery, reliability, scale, improved collaborations, and security. Some of the tools used in DevOps are Git, Jenkins, Docker, Puppet, Chef, Kubernetes, and Ansible. The certifications include DevOps Foundation Certification, DevOps Leader, DevSecOps Engineering, DevOps Test Engineering, etc. At number three, there is cloud computing. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing sciences like servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence, and more over the internet or the cloud to offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. You typically pay only for cloud services you use, helping lower your operating costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business needs change. Currently, there are three main cloud service providers in the market, Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Some of the tools you use for cloud computing are Amazon EC2, AWS CloudFormation, Microsoft's Windows Azure, Google App Engine, CloudSim, Terraform, etc. Preferred certifications in cloud computing are AWS Developer Associate Training, AWS Solutions Architect, Associate Level Training, AWS Technical Essentials Training, AWS System Ops Accurate Administrator Certification Training, AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification, Microsoft Azure for AWS Experts, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, and G Suite Administrator. The next in our list at number two is Big Data. Big data is a term that describes the large volume of data, both structured and unstructured, that inundates a business on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's not the amount of data that's important. 
It's what organizations do with the data that matters. Big data can be analyzed for insights that lead to better decisions and strategic business moves. Many people get confused between big data and data science. While big data is a large amount of data, data science is a blend of various tools, algorithms, and machine learning principles with the goal to discover hidden patterns from the raw data. It also involves solving a problem in various ways to arrive at the solution, and on the other hand, it involves to design and construct new processes for data modeling and production using various prototypes, algorithms, predictive models, and custom analysis. To operate on big data, data science uses various tools like R, Python, Scala, etc. Therefore, the certifications to enter in the field of big data are based on these tools. You have R Programming Language Training and Certification, Python 101, Mastering Python Training, Python and Enterprise Training. You also have Data Science Training, Data Science Bootcamp Training, etc. At the top of our list is AI or Artificial Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience, adjust to new inputs, and perform human-like tasks. Most AI examples that you hear about today, from chess playing computers to self-driving cars, rely heavily on deep learning and natural language processing. Using these technologies, computers can be trained to accomplish specific tasks by processing large amounts of data and recognizing patterns in the data. Neutral networks, machine learning, deep learning, etc. are the ways in which the AI learns new things. The tools involved in machine learning are TensorFlow, Apache, SystemML, CAF, Apache Mahout, OpenNN, Torch, Neurof, Deep Learning 4J, Mycroft, OpenCog, etc. Some of the best certifications in the field of artificial intelligence are machine learning AI certification offered by Stanford University on Coursera AI for Beginners, being offered on Lynda. AI certification course offered by Microsoft on EDX, Certificate in Machine Learning by University of Washington, Robotic Process Automization using UiPath Training Course, and Learn with Google AI. If you observe closely, then you will find that every technology is connected with each other. IoT and other data sources can be used to collect big data. Then, data science uses machine learning and deep learning to process the data sets. The data sets processed by machine learning and deep learning helps in the development of artificial intelligence. Cloud computing hosts the computing services over the internet, which makes the data, softwares, algorithms, websites, etc. easily accessible. Cloud computing also empowers IoT. Since everything is on the cloud, therefore cybersecurity becomes crucial for the safety of our data. The development process of all the required software and products can be made more efficient by following Agile. Efficient processes make efficient businesses, but no matter how good a product or service a business produces, if it is not promoted, then people will never know about it. And that is where digital marketing comes into play. So these were the top technologies which will trend in 2019. Make sure you upskill yourself and don't forget to visit knowledgehut.com where we can help you take your career ahead.